Welcome to the Master R Programming Language course. Whether you are new to R or looking to refine your skills, this course is designed to guide you through every essential aspect of R programming, from basic operations to advanced data analysis and visualization techniques. So, what is R? R is a free and open source programming language. It is a very powerful tool for statistical computing and graphics. It was developed in the 1990s by Ross Ihaka and Robert Gentleman at the University of Auckland, New Zealand. R currently has over 20,000 packages which can serve everyone's need in data science and statistical analysis no matter your discipline. Next, I will take you through exactly what we're going to cover in the course. So we will start with an introduction to R programming, covering the very basics such as installing R and R Studio, understanding the differences between them, and exploring the core capabilities of R. By the end of this model, you will have a solid foundation and a fully functional R environment ready for your coding journey. Next, we dive into operations in R, where you will learn to use R as a powerful calculator, understand how to assign values, and work with logical and relational operators. These are the very building blocks for all data manipulation tasks in R. Again, understanding data types is crucial in programming. In this very section, we will cover the various data types in R, including numeric, integer, character, logical, and complex. You will also learn how to test these data types and also convert one data type to another. This will ensure your data is handled correctly and put in the right format for any subsequent analysis. About data structures, these are the core of any data analysis. We will explore data structures such as vectors, lists, matrices, arrays, and data frames. You will learn to perform arithmetic and relational operations on these data structures. You will be able to access specific data points in vectors. You will access rows and columns in matrices, arrays, data frames, as well as manipulate them to fit your data analysis needs. Next, we move on to conditional executions. This allows you to write code in order to make decisions. We will cover the if, and else and else if conditions, including multiple or nested if conditions and the use of the if else function for conditional operations. This can prove very useful if you want to categorize your data based on certain conditions. The next one is gonna be control flow or loops. Loops are essential for running repetitive tasks in your code. You will learn about the for loop, the while loop, repeat loop, and how to use them to automate repetitive processes. You will learn to write loops that make complex operations look like drinking water. Well, that was actually just a joke. You will do very wonderful things in R. Now, when it comes to functions in this section, we will introduce you to how to write or create your own functions and leverage built-in functions that are available when you install R to write efficient and reusable code. On the issue of data frames, data frames are the most commonly used data structures in R for data analysis. You will learn how to create data frames, manage them, and manipulate the data that are within these data frames, as well as how to access the rows and columns or observations and variables within the data set and everything that there is to know about how to handle your data frames. Again, the power of R comes from its vast collections of packages. In this model, I will walk you through installing, loading, updating, and removing packages to extend R's capabilities for your specific needs, no matter whatever field or discipline that you pursue or study. Another thing that is also very important is to how to import and export data files. These are very vital skills in data science. You will learn how to import data from various sources, including web data files, text data files, 
and comma separated values file, which is normally referred to as CSV files, or even data files from other statistical tools like SPSS, data, MATLAB, and a whole lot more. You also learn how to export your process data to these very multiple formats. Once your data is ready, it is now time to analyze it. We will cover general descriptive statistics that include looking at, for example, the first few observations of your data frames. Um, you would also learn how to calculate measures of central tendency or measures of dispersion or spread. And this will help you summarize and understand the characteristics of your data. Here, you get to move a step further into data management. In this model, you will learn techniques for creating sequences. You will learn to sort and order data, format the data to ensure it is in the right shape for analysis. When it comes to strings, you will learn how to concatenate them, put them together in various structures that prove very useful for further analysis. After that, we just move on to the infamous tidyverse. Now, this is a collection of several R packages that are designed for many uses in data science. We will explore these powerful tools for data wrangling and analysis. For example, we have the read R package within the tidyverse, which is used for reading in or importing data into R. You also learn how to use table to tidy up the data, presenting tabular data in a beautiful format with much information to see about the data itself. You will also learn how to use the tidy R package for tidying up data further, reshaping it from wide to long or from long to wide format, and a whole lot more that you can do with this package. Then we'll, you also learn how to use dply R for data manipulation, string R for working with strings or tests, forecasts for working with categorical data types, pair for functional programming and loops, Lubridate for working with dates and time, ggplot2 for graphics and visualizations. All of these packages that are in the tidyverse will be discussed in so much detail, and you will really love the use of these tools to facilitate data analysis, data management, and any other thing that you wish to do in the R programming environment. Visualization is a critical aspect of every data analysis. In this section, you will learn how to create a variety of plots using the base R functionality, customize them with labels, legends, and more to effectively communicate your findings. You will also learn to take your visualizations to the next level. We will explore the ggplot2 package from the tidyverse collection. You will learn how to use the seven layers that make up the grammar of graphics in order to create aesthetically pleasing and complex plots control facets, and apply themes for a professional look. After that, we just simply move on to regression models, where you will learn how to build and interpret simple and multiple linear regression models, as well as how to diagnose issues in regression, like multicollinearity, heteroscedasticity, autocorrelation, and the likes. You will also learn how to effectively visualize regression results from the visualization skills that you have learned earlier. We will then go ahead and expand on the linear models and delve right into generalized linear models, including linear probability model, logistic and probit models, which are very essential for analyzing binary outcomes. You will also have the opportunity to create very beautiful regression tables with the Stargazer package. Finally, we will cover reporting your findings using R Markdown and also look at the recent update to R Markdown, which has been released as the R Quarto. And we will explore how you can use these to create dynamic reports and combine code, text, and visualizations and make your analysis reproducible and presentable. Now, it is very important that you take note. At the end of every single model, you will have access to all the R script files and any data set that is used in the lesson, whether the data set is built in or imported from several sources. And again, you will also have the opportunity to actually work on practical aspects of these lessons. These lessons will be structured in a way that makes it as much practical as possible 
data sets will be sourced from some of the world's known data repositories, like for example, Kaggle, where you will get to have data sets from its raw format. And when imported into R for these models, they will be practicalized in how to clean them, how to visualize them, how to use them for several other things. Other data sets will be sourced from many other repositories or databases, like for example, the World Bank or the International Financial Statistics of the uh, IMF, International Monetary Fund. So we will have very practical use of data sets that are found out there so that the lesson does not focus on working with fictitious data or not only built-in data sets, but rather we'll be sourcing data sets from outside there so that we can apply these lessons as much as practical as possible. So by the end of this course in general, you will have all the skills that you need to tackle any data science challenge with so much confidence as far as R is concerned. Are you ready to master R programming? Then let's get started.